Hi, in this problem we have third derivative equal to the sine of x, and we have that f of 0 is equal to 1, f prime of 0 is equal to 1, and f double prime of 0 is equal to 1. And the question wants us to find f. So to find f, what we're basically going to do is repeatedly integrate, and then just use these conditions. So integrating both sides of this equation, we have the second derivative of x, right, because when you integrate the third derivative, you get the second derivative. And then integrating sine, we get negative cosine x plus our constant c. The derivative of uh, this is going to be negative negative sine, which is sine. That's why there's a negative here when you integrate. And the c is our constant of integration. So now we use this condition here to find c. So f double prime of 0, just put in a 0 where the x is, is negative cosine of 0 plus c, and that's equal to 1. Negative cosine of 0, well, cosine of 0 is 1, so this is negative 1 plus c is 1. Add 1 to both sides, and so you get c equals 2. Then you just take this and put it back in here. So f double prime of x is equal to negative cosine x plus 2. So now we integrate again, so f prime of x, and then when you uh, integrate cosine, you just get sine because the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is negative sine x. Here you're gonna get two x, and then we add our constant. And you can use a different constant, I'm just gonna use the same one. So now we use this condition, same thing, plug in zero, set it equal to one to find the constant. So this is negative sine zero plus two times zero plus c equals one. Sine of zero is zero, this is zero, so all of this is zero, so you get c equals one. Take this, plug it back in, so you get f prime of x equals negative sine x plus two x plus one, okay? And now we integrate again, okay, one more time. So now we're just gonna get f of x. Let's see here, um, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So when you integrate negative sine, you're just going to get cosine x. Here there's a 1. We're going to use the power rule to integrate. So you get 2x squared over 2, so we're just going to get x squared. Here we're just going to get an x from the 1. And then we're going to have our constant capital C. Then we use our final condition, f of 0 equals 1. So this is cosine of 0 plus 0 squared plus 0 plus c equals 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. So you get c equals zero. So the final answer, take the zero, plug it back in here. The final answer will be f of x equals the cosine of x plus x squared plus x. And that is the solution to this problem. Did that pretty quickly, but basically, you just basically um, integrate, use a condition, integrate, use a condition, etc. And that's how you find your function f. Good luck.